I also will come in the name of our Lord Jesus. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. This year, you remember the goal for this year. Do you still remember the goal for this year? What does it say? Pressing towards the goal. Do we still have the same speed that we had in January? Uh, the, the theme that we have is in Philippians. That, that I seek to reach uh, the, the, the end place so that I may be rewarded. Do you still have that zeal so that you may hit the goal? We do it by prayer, reading the word of the Lord and fellowship. We purpose to do the things the Holy Spirit has told us to do. In the second quarter, beginning with the month of April, 
Uh, it is the word that talks about seeing Jesus Christ. Jangwa se kutumbira ibyimana yavuze ku buzima bwawe. Or looking at the things God has spoken over. Dufata Yesu ngikitegererezo kizima. Seeing Jesus as a role model. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kutumbira Yesu. Looking at Jesus. Kumuhanga maso. Looking at him. That is the theme that we have for this quarter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prayers that we are in, they are but very hopeful prayers. I want to thank God for the people that are coming to join them. So that together we may pray. We are praying for the nation. We are praying for the neighboring country. But we pray more for our country. Praying for the leaders. We pray for the neighboring countries together with the whole world. The thing we pray for. We pray for the bride of Christ. We pray for the church of God all over the world. We want to thank God that things are moving on well. Another thing we pray for, we are praying for our family. That the Lord may help our family. So that we may be employed in our family. The Lord will build families for our daughters and uh, young men. The Lord will take away obstacles in our family. It pains our heart to keep under obstacles. That is how we are praying in the time of 21 days. One other thing I thank God for, we will do it if we get some time. The Lord spoke through the pastor before we began the church. Like four weeks ago. And as he was sleeping, somebody came and told him in a dream. Saying so in the time of prayer and fasting, the Lord heals so many diseases. Is there a person sick here? The Lord will heal you in the name of Jesus. It will depend upon your faith. Because God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you believe that the Lord will heal the disease that you have? Do you believe in that? After 21 days, I'll go and check because I know that the Lord would have healed me. If you have believed also tell God that I want this disease to go out of my body. The leader of the program said there are diseases that go by prayer and fasting. He got it out of the word of the Lord. People think that the previous revival ended. But revival is present. If you seek for the power of the Lord, you will get it. We want to restore the time that we are taken by the devil. The theme for this prayer, the 21 days of prayer and fasting, we find it in the book of Ephesians. You are not here during the week services because of. Abone uko. 
akumurikira kanguka uzuke cyangwa se va mu bitotsi kugira ngo Kristo abone uko akumurikira That is why it is written let those who sleep rise up so that Christ may shine on you Mukindi kinyarwanda haravuga ngo kanguka uzuke uve mu bapfuye In another version it says rise up from the dead Turashaka kugira ngo tube mu bapfuye tuve mu bapfu we want to come out of the dead. We are talking about spiritual death, not physical death. Do you believe that the Lord can rise us from the dead? I'm talking about spiritual slumber. Imitima yacu imibiri yacu tukongera kumva bwa bubyutse twa twigeze kuba mwokera We pray that God will revive our bodies and hearts so that we may go back to the previous revival Tukongera gukorera mu mbaraga Imana yaduhereye muri Kristo Yesu So that we may walk again in the power that God gave us through Jesus Christ Kanguka uve mu bapfuye Raise from the dead Hallelujah Hallelujah Birashoboka is it possible? Is that possible? If you believe it, raise up your hand. Even when it is possible, you work for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to repeat what we studied on. But I want to encourage you to read if you have some time. We read the book of Romans 13, 11. This is spiritual food. If you have some time, you go and read it. Luke chapter 24 from 30 to 31. We are not going to read it. Please take some note and move on. I'm telling the people that want to revive up and get time to read it. Twasomye nanone abikorindo ba kabiri ibice bine umurongo wa gatatu kugeza ku murongo wa kane We talked about 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from 3 through 4 Ni huse Rekantangire abaroma 13 11 Romans chapter 13 verse 11 Luka makumyabiri na kane mirongo itatu itatu na rimwe Luke chapter 24 30 and 31 Abikorinto ba kabiri kane gatatu kugeza kuri kane. Second Corinthians chapter four verse four to six. Aba tesaruni ke ba mbere gatano kuri gatanda tu. First Thessalonians chapter five, first Thessalonians five and six. Matayo makumnya abiri makumnya abiri ni chenda kugeza kuri mirongo itatu na kane. Matthew chapter twenty verse twenty nine through thirty four. Nanone twasomye igitabo cyazaburi jana na 146 umurongo wa 8 Psalms 146 verse 8 Ntabwo turi busubire muri ayo masomo twayize kuwa kabiri kuwa gatatu kuwa kane kuwa gatano We didn't we were not going to repeat that because we talked about it Ndashimira itorero kuko mwitabiriye muri benshi ndabishimira ndashimira baririmbye ndashimira binginzi nukuri mwaritabiriye aya masengesho I want to thank you church members you came in large numbers and may God bless you. Uh, I want to remind you about the word we read in Ephesians. Let me talk about it but uh, Ephesians Paul wrote to the Ephesians. And uh, chapter 1 and verse 15, you can just go there. Somebody can help read for us. We are going to take some time and preach about it. Somebody can help read, please. Stand and read. 
nicyo gituma nange maze kumva uburyo mwizera umwami Yesu mugakunda bera bose mbashimira imana urudaca nkabasabira uko nsenze kugira ngo imana y'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo ariyo data wa twese w'icyubahiro abahe umwuka w'ubwenge no guhishurirwa bitume muyimenya ngo amaso y'imitima yanyu abone uko aheza mumenye ibyo mwiringizwa ni yabahamagaye mumenye nubutunzi bw'ubwiza bw'ibyo azaragabera mumenye nubwinshi bw'imbaraga zayo butagira akagero iziha twebwe abizeye nkuko imbaraga zubasha bwayo bukomeye ziri urakoze cyane wicarire reka nsubire ho gatoya muri iri jambo let me just talk briefly about this iya yamaso y'umwuka yahumutse when your spiritual eyes are open intego dufite muri aya masengesho the theme that we have for this prayer no kubwira imana ngo mana we saying lord duhumura maso y'umutima open the eyes of my heart duhumure mpumura mpumura maso y'umutima open my spiritual eyes ngizimisi ndindagiye cyane ntaziyonda ntaziyomva i've been confused not knowing where to go where to come ngizimisi mbona ibiti nkabyita abantu i've been seeing trees to be men mpumura maso y'umwuka open my spiritual eyes Humuri torero amaso y'umwuka Open the spiritual eyes of the church Niyo ndego dufite That the theme that we have Ye usinziriye we Oh you sleeper Kanguka Raise Uzuke uve mu bapfuye Raise from the day Kugira ngo Kristo abone uko akumurikira So that Christ may shine on you Ibyo nibyo sengesho duhaye dusenga That the prayer that we are praying Kristo arashaka kukumurikira ubuzima bwawe bwose Christ want to shine through your life Urumuri rutazongera kuzima no munsi no The light that will never go dim Icyo nicyo cyifuzo cy'Imana That is a prayer that's the Lord Imana irashaka gukorana n'abantu bafite amaso y'umwuka God wants to work with people who are spiritually alive Kugira ngo itabaza ry'Imana rihore ribamurikira So that the light of God will shine ever on them Bahoro ashi mirira itorero ry'abanyefeso Paul thanks this church of the Ephesian Aravuga ngo amaso y'imitima yanyu abone uko abona that they may the eyes of your heart be enlightened Nuko uvuga ngo muri iri torero harabari bafite amaso y'umwuka tabona In this church there were men and women that didn't have eyes that would see Muri ya matorero arindwi dusanga bibiri ivuga mu byahishuriwe Yohana In the seven churches of of the revelations of John This church of Ephesus is graded well Paul thank give thanks to this church That's where we read in verse 15 That this is why since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love for the faith, I never stop giving thanks to the Lord for you as I remember you in my prayer so that the Lord, the Lord of the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the glorious Father would give you the spirit of wisdom give you the spirit of revelation ngo bitume muyimenya so that you may know him ngo amaso amaso yi amaso yimitima so that the eyes of your heart ngo amaso yimitima the eyes of your heart tabwo yavuza amaso yumubiri they're not talking about physical eyes amaso yimitima ya wara cyabona do you, do you still see with your spiritual eyes Hallelujah. Do you still have all the eyes of your heart seeing or you have one that sees? You can ask yourself and then give an answer to yourself again. Amaso y'imitima yanyu abone uko aheza that the, uh, the eyes of your heart may be enlightened ngo mumenye ibyo mwiringirwa mwiringizwa ni yabahamagaye so that you may know 
What is the hope of his calling? When your eyes are alert, you get to know your hope, the promises of the Lord upon your life. And you to be able to know the wealth of his glorious inheritance. In when your eyes are sharp and alert, you are always happy about the glorious inheritance. That you have. You are, you are always happy about the glorious abundance of the inheritance you receive and you are pleased with that forever. That is why we see many people happy. They always access, access the abundance of the glorious inheritance the Lord will give to his saints. Every time they are happy. Because their spiritual eyes are alert. They all don't only see the physical things. They see the immaterial things. Because they see, they see so far where other people cannot see. Even during times that our hearts are constant and are difficult, they always access the wealth that God will give to the saints. What is bringing that? Why? Because he's risen from the dead. He died with Christ. He rose with him. He's seated with him. And he has eyes at other people. That's why they're ever happy and full of joy. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, they are happy and singing. There is a reason why God left him. There were eight of them, but only two exist. Shall we not clap for the Lord? May the Lord open the eyes of your heart so that you may see the abundance of wealth at the point. The third point. Uh, the so that you may know the exceeding greatness of his power this word has helped me to know the greatness of his power the one that he gives us. He doesn't give it to any other person. It is us that we can access those that seek him in zeal. That the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. This is the prayer he was praying for the Ephesians. In the 21 days that we have, may the Lord open your eyes. May your inner man come alive in Jesus. May your inner man start to see in Jesus. Start seeing the things you've never seen. When they were stoning Stephen, he never saw the people stoning him. He see the Lamb of God seated on the right hand of God. He didn't see the stoning. But, but his eyes were open. And he saw God on his side. And he said, God forgive for they don't know what they are doing. When your eyes are enlightened, you pray for mercy upon they that do bad you. They that hurt you, you pray for mercy. Let's clap for the Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We talked about many things. But let's talk about the word for today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read the word of the Lord for today. Uh, the Revelations, the book of Revelations. Chapter 3 and verse 1. Begin with verse 1. I will tell you where to stop. We will not read. I 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 say, every person have the way they are. Brethren, analyze yourself to see how you measure up these days. Because you are not cold, neither are you warm. I am vomiting you. I will tell you people that were vomited how they look like. I will vomit you out. If you see you no longer do the things you used to do for God, ask yourself how you were before God. Brethren, what is the word of the Lord communicating to you? May the Lord forgive us, brethren. May the spirit of religion go away from us. In this church, it had material wealth. It had wealth. It had many things. It lacked nothing. But it never understood the measure of spiritual blindness it had. They thought they were okay. They never knew about the spiritual blindness they had. The times when you realize you are getting blind spiritually, you pray unto God who revive your sight. They never knew that they were blind spiritually. They never knew that you were naked. They never knew that they, they needed pity. Let's go to verse 18 as we conclude. I advise you therefore to buy from me gold that is refined. Refined in the fire. So that you may be rich. White cloth. So that you may cover your shameful nakedness. And also oil in place. To spread over your eyes so that you may see. We are saying that the Lord may open our eyes so that we may see. Buy from me also ointment for the eyes. So that your eyes may be open to the eyes. To be able to see if you want to attract another set of revival power, ask God to open your spiritual eyes. God is ready to open your spiritual eyes. 
Hallelujah. 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 Ndashaka guhumuka cyane. I want to see more clearly. Petro amaze guhumuka amaso y'umwuka. When Peter's eyes were open. Yari yara ijoro ryo saha yashaka kuroba aha yashaka isamaki mu mazi. Throughout the night he was looking for fish in the sea. Ataha yarushe. He went back home tired. Ariko ahuye na Yesu. But when he met Jesus. Aramubwira ngo ndaguhumura amaso y'umwuko uyu munsi. Open your spiritual eyes today. Aramubwira ngo subira mu subira mu mazi. He said go back to the sea. Subira mu nyanja. Go back to the lake. Petero aramubwira ati ntibyashobwe kuroba roba mwijoro. And Peter said it is not possible they that fish fish at night. Uroba roba mwijoro. They that fish fish at night. Yes aramubwira ati ngiye kuguhumura amaso uyu munsi. And Peter said I'm going to open your eyes today. Peru rushundura rwawe buryo. Cast your net over to the right. Atere urushunduri buryo ngo abona amasamaki menshi cyane. And when it did that he captured so much fish. Kuko Imana yari maze gukora ku maso yiwe. Because God had opened his eyes. Elisa yabwiye Gehazi ngo icyampa uga mukamaso y'umwuka Elisha told Gehazi that I wish your eyes your Kugira ngo ubone ingabo nyinshi zimbaraga zitagira uko twazivuga ingabo z'ijuru ziradukikije So that you may see the heavenly chariots of fire Iyo wahumutsa maso y'umwuka ntugira ubwoba When your eyes are enlightened you are Ubona ubwishi bw'ubutunzi n'imbaraga z'Imana Imana yaguhereye muri Kristo Yesu You see the great inheritance of the power of God that we access in Jesus Ibi gutera ubwo wa ubitera ubwo ukumva hari imbaraga ziri muri wowe uskea what frightens you because of the power that kuko amaso y'umwuka yahumutse because your spiritual eyes are open muga ngo mana yanje zamura maboko yawe oh lift your hands and say lord jesus muga ngo mana yanje lord jesus kora ku maso yanje y'umwuka open the spiritual eyes kora ku maso yanje y'umwuka touch my spiritual eyes kugira ngo mbone neza so that i may see clearly bono ubwishi bw'imbaraga zawe the greatness of your power bono ubutunzi to see the great wealth in Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you some of the things that mark a slumber as possible. As I move fast towards the conclusion. The thing that mark a person that sleeps. The few things that I will talk about. Ubuzima bwiwahora cyitsi intege. They are ever weak in their life. Ntabwo mvuze intege zo kurwara kurwara nibintu twese turarwara. I'm not talking about sickness. Ahora cyitsi intege mu buryo bwo mu mwuka. They are ever spiritually weak. Ahora nubwoba bwinshi. They are always frightened and anxious. Ahora remererewe cyane ubuzima bwe buraremererwa. They are always burdened by their lives. Ahora namaganya dashira. They are always pitiful. Aburi byishimo mu buzima bwe bwose. They lack joy through out their lives tabwo yumva ivyumwuka they never get attentive ndagira gukomeze wishire ku munzana urebe kumeze measure yourself to see how you are they yumva ivyumwuka bwira itorero they never attentive to the voice of the spirit of the lord agira inzara nyinshi giha abandi biyirije they have a lot of hunger when other people are fasting ntabwo yumva amatangazo yitorero they never listen to the announcements of church kana ma ivyitorero ntacho bimubwiye they are not concerned about the things of church. Akenshi narababaraga cyane nkaba nakubita mu Kristo urushi kuko atumva. Many times I would get hurt because they are, the Christians are not listening. Ntawe mvuze ko nakubisa urushi mutabishyana mu binyamakuru. I did not say I slapped somebody. Ariko nuva mu Kristo utumva wamukubita urushi we. I felt like slapping a Christian. Bivuye mu ishaka ryo kumva namusunika kuba. Because of the zeal that I had for the Lord. Ariko naje kubimenya yupfuye amaso y'umwuka. But I discovered that when your eyes are dead, bigutera no gufa matwi y'umwuka. You cannot listen spiritually to your ears. Nuko tukaguterura tukakuzana uzaducika. Even when we bring you by force, you will escape. Ukuye imana yonyine kugira ngo ikwiterurire. Except the Lord carry you in. Muravyo mvatorero ry'Imana. Are you listening? Hari umuntu waba wafashijwe uyu munsi? There are people that have been helped today. If we didn't listen to the word of the Lord, we would all be dead. There is nothing that resurrects us from the dead like the word of the Lord. 
Usigaye usanga amatorero menshi baba mu kubyina gusa ariko nibahereza umwanya ijambo ry'Imana. In many churches are captivated by dancing they have Iki, short time. Ikizagushoboza kubyinira Imana ni Bibiliya ya kubyinira Imana Bibiliya iravyemera ariko ikizagushoboza cha mbere nukumva ijambo ry'Imana ukari ha umwanya. It is good to dance for the Lord but it also better to get time for the work. Ibindi birango umuntu wapfuye amaso y'umwuka. Other things that characterize a spiritually blind person. Na mvuze kuko agira inzara nyinshi mu giha abandi bigirije. They have great hunger when other people Kandi are fasting. They are not concerned about that. When the Something to drink. Or even a banana. You wish to be the, in that category of old people. You are still young. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are some that are taken away by prayer. We are captivated by generational problems because we don't have the power we, to We need the power of God. We need to be spiritual alert so that we may know which strategies to take. You cannot be a soldier to go to battle when you are blind. They always measure you medically to see whether you have good life before you join the army. The person that we discussed, we told. Ten years ago, we are going to pray for evangelists. They love to pray. He was a servant of the Lord. They would sleep here praying, dancing in the spirit. But they needed a person to groom them. So that the, in, in, in the right time, they would also pray and anoint them. When we groomed some and prayed for them, and they and went to begin his own church. When he met the pastor, he started escaping. He was hurt. Because his spiritual eyes are They want to do great things when they are not measuring up. There are people who don't allow to be mentored into maturity to serve the Lord. Another characteristic of such a person. They don't allow our device. They don't have faith in the word of God. They are ever dreaming about death. Dreaming about fornication and adultery and any other funny thing. But when your spiritual eyes are open, you know how to fight. You arise and fight against such powers. They are ever dreaming badly. They don't praise, they don't worship, they don't read the word of the Lord, and they don't fellowship. Because of the spirit of religion upon them. And another thing, the Lord wants to bring back the joy that he used to have. God longs to bring back the dreams and the visions that you had before. But the sleep of death is so heavy on you. May the Lord touch on your spiritual eyes. May the Lord awaken your spiritual 
Kugirango Kristo namara kukumurikira. So that after shining on you. Na ugende umurikire izindi mpumyi uzihagurutse. You also wake other people that are sleeping. Ubwo nibwo butumwa bwiza Imani dushakaho. That is the gospel, the good news the Lord wants. Shall we arise and we pray? Nimuhaguruke dusenge. Shall we arise and we pray? Ayo mashini make ya mukome Imana. You can do better than that by clapping to the Lord. I don't know if the musicians are here. Are they still here? Okay. We are going to worship in one song as we pray for the sick. You are sick or you have a person sick at home. We want to send the word that heals diseases. In the 21 days of prayer and fasting, I am beseeching my God that He may touch and heal your sickness. Go to the children of Israel that the Egyptian sicknesses and diseases will not be on you. Let me tell you who is owning that disease. It is not your disease. On the cross, Jesus said, It is by my bidding. Why do you own the sicknesses and troubles? Look upon your brethren and say, May the Lord heal them wherever they are. See where you are sick and tell God to heal you in that place. God is merciful. God is merciful. Shall we arise and worship the Lord in a song? Ingo Maya is a hora. Uga Miga is a hora.
kwawe. I want you to lift up your faith. Zamura kwizera kwawe. Have strong faith. I am seeking in the name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit God wants to do some things on your body. The Lord is doing something on your body. God is doing something on your life. I feel it in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands and the pastors. Lift up those hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You have opened our spiritual eyes. That we may capture again our spiritual eyes. That we may know how to fight the enemy. Thank you for you resurrected us. Thank you for the 21 day. You have revived our steps that we have. In the 21 days of prayer before you. All the troubles of our life have been lifted off in Jesus. You have forgiven us. You have had mercy upon us, Son of God. The glory and honor are you. We love for you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Tata trokuzamu ya duke na imba ragazimu nyute Hembura wa sore, hembura wa gawo, hembura wa gore, hembura wa koga Hembura wa gire, 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 hembura w